Matt Miller. Well, good evening to you. The colder wind starting to settle down a little bit through the evening hours. It'll be clear and cold overnight into the morning tomorrow, and then a breezy day as the winds return at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Won't be that strong in the morning, but as the day goes on, those winds will pick up and eventually start ushering in colder and colder air. And you'll really feel that as we head into Thursday, as the colder temperatures will be in place. Winter Wonderland will be getting underway here, coming up at six o'clock. Don't forget to make some time, carve out some time to head over there and support. TARK, this is their biggest fundraiser of the year. It goes on nightly till 10 o'clock through the end of the year. Taking a look in the Mayetta area at the Prairie Van Casino, we've got a clear sky up north. To the west in Manhattan, skies have been clear throughout the day. And in the capital city, we've got a clear sky and 46 degrees with winds out of the west, southwest at 8. But the air is very dry. That dew point of 12, that is some dry air. And typical of these colder blasts of air, we get uh, some of that dry air coming in as well. And that'll allow for temperatures to drop like they did last night. We had 27 degrees in Topeka. Western counties were in the teens and 20s early in the morning. But now we've seen a nice recovery. 47 at Manhattan and Junction City, 44 at Concordia. 43 for Burlington and Lawrence right now at 45. The winds are generally westerly. They have been more northwest and now taking on more of that west direction, 8 to as high as 15 miles per hour. And as those winds continue throughout the evening hours and the temperatures are falling back enough, we're starting to feel it as a wind chill. 37 at Burlington, 36 for Hiawatha, 38 at Concordia, and some low 40s around Manhattan and Junction City. Here's a look at future track wind chills tonight, 9 o'clock, upper 20s and low 30s. We'll keep falling, though, down into the upper teens north, but mostly low 20s as you head out early tomorrow. Uh, it's actually a little bit milder, maybe less cold, better way to say that, than we were this morning. And then as we head through the daytime tomorrow, it's going to be a little bit cooler. We won't see the 40s as much. The wind chill will likely hover in the 30s, although the air temperature should make it in the 40s. The winds will be stronger in the afternoon tomorrow, and that'll keep bringing in that colder air. And look at these wind chills for Thursday morning. This is when we hit that kind of bottoming out this week. Wind chills will be in the single digits. The air temperatures will be in the teens. But then we make it back into the 30s in the afternoon, but the wind chills will stay in the teens. And so a cold Thursday out ahead of us. But the skies are, at least for now, clear. We do have our eyes on uh, one area of clouds that's up to our north. You'll see it just a little bit north of Beatrice, Nebraska, up north of Lincoln. There are some snow showers moving through uh, right now northern Nebraska, parts of South Dakota. The moisture won't be able to hold together this far south, but some of the clouds will. And Future Track is picking up on just passing clouds. Uh, this is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, still mostly clear. Maybe a few more clouds during the course of the day as those breezes kick in. And that'll push on through. And although cold, for Thursday, it should remain mostly clear. So sunny skies on Thursday afternoon, just a cold end to the week. 28 tonight. As we look ahead to the next seven days, breezy and 45 tomorrow. Look at Thursday's high, just 33. It's going to be a cold day. Upper teens for Friday morning with a high of 44, and then breezy and 41 on Saturday. By Sunday and Monday, we should climb back up into the 50s. A little windy, though, early next week as we go through another transition, and another front will slide in, and that'll drop temperatures a bit on Tuesday, back down to around 40. So overall, you look at the averages at the bottom of the screen, they're 45 for the high. Most of the days, other than Sunday and Monday this time, are Below average, so we've kind of made that switch from the warmer weather we had back to some colder weather, but it does not say consistent. Anywhere from 30s to 50s, we'll be seeing that uh, bouncing around temperature wise throughout the week. But if you've got kind of plans for this week, just plan on Thursday being really cold. Oh boy. And not quite feeling the same like San Diego weather. No, huh, it Brooke? sure yeah. wasn't. And I tell you, I sent in a bunch of pictures. We showed and, them. Uh, yeah. showed, the viewers can attend. Well, that's yeah. good. But yeah, it's uh, very, very different. I had to find the coat again coming back from San Diego after <laughs> a long vacation. Yeah. So much well, different. Yeah. We are glad to have you back. Oh, Welcome back. Brooke. I bet you're glad. <laughs> I am. Well, Google <laughs> is taking steps.